The AT&T cell phones outage has impacted customers all over the country. Yep. Fortunately, service is now restored. But a lot of people Ooh. going online today are just trying to figure out what was going on, right? We were getting a lot it of happened emails. Overnight. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, federal agencies investigating to see if the outage was caused by a cyber attack or something else. A spokesperson for the company says to use Wi-Fi calling until the service is restored. They're working urgently, urgently to get that going. But again, it looks like they're pretty much back on track. The company said around 75% of the network has been restored. Now, according to a confidential memo obtained by ABC News, quote, the cause of the outage is unknown and there are no indications of malicious activity, end quote. We spoke to E911 Communications here in Knoxville to see how this outage impacted them. Getting phone calls in obviously is one way that it can affect and also some uh, providers or some agencies rely on AT&T or Verizon, whoever, any kind of outage uh, may hinder them in their response for data and everything, but radios are functioning. Uh, everything is functioning as, as planned. There may just be some, some data that we have to transmit over the radio instead of on the computer. Now, we were told that emergency service centers like the Knox County Emergency Communications do have backups in case of an outage like this that could impact them. Uh, just so you know, if your phone says SOS up there in the upper left-hand corner, you can still call 911 if needed.